What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be reviewing another LEGO Ninjago set. It, I've just been going off with these LEGO Ninjago sets. Sorry I didn't up, uh, upload a video on Monday, I was not paying attention and it flew by. But today we're going to be reviewing the Gamers Market set number 71708. It has 218 pieces and a lot of characters one two three four five six seven eight nine characters which is nuts for thirty dollars i don't see any star wars or any other theme have that i mean mostly star wars because it's overpriced like that but you know whatever nine characters really good set we're gonna get into it let's start out with the build okay starting off with the build it's pretty simple pretty easy not a big you know piece wise but a bunch of characters which is Basically, the reason you would probably get this is all the characters, maybe the katana, kitana, or maybe this stand. So we're going to start off with this kind of weapon stand. Nice sticker right here. You can see some clear weapons, kind of look like tech weapons, you know, as you can see in J right there. A big tech saw kind of just sig signaling like, hey, this is probably where you get your weapons. And in the back, you can see four swords. I did switch them out from the original swords, but I... Yeah, it's nice sword holders, but as soon as you lift it up, it, the, the tips do go down a little farther. And then you have this little jug thing. I don't know what it's for. Pretty cool. These move. Neat. Really cool. You make a nice setup. And then for the second, uh, I guess, piece here, we have the katana holder. So we got the katana here. Really cool really detailed just a nice sword right here i'm definitely going to be using this and stuff like all over really neat then we have this build really simple kind of just using some megaphones to add some little detail i like this sticker on the big plate up here really cool overall that's pretty cool and then we have the item market this is where zane sits pink zane sits but i just removed him because he's technically a character as you can see you can also get Quests here and 125 credits for the Zane avatar, pink just Zane. And so we have a kind of cowboy hat, Sensei Wu hat, I would say knight hat, sailor's hat, top hat, and space helmet, basically. And it looks really neat, really clean in my opinion. So now that we've done with the build, let's move on to the nine characters in this set. Okay, so our first character is going to be Digi. J. There we go. And so I did modify this a little bit, but with the swords in the back, I added one of those kind of cool clear swords. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So we have his little blade thing. Really cool. That's for his weapon. You have his health bar. We're going to take that health bar off now. Uh, and I'm just going to give you an overall view of this real quick. You can see it with his armor on and everything. I'm going to take off this helmet, and you can see his normal face in the back, just a kind of a smiley face, really neat. Now let's take off the back and see what the back says. Okay, so the back looks like this, really cool. I mean, just kind of basic. You don't really see it, so it's not much. I really like that they have two different colors on the arms, really like the leg printing. Overall, really good. Let's get on to our next so, character. Here's our second character. He is Scott. So, Scott is our second character, and really cool, he has his little scythe thingy, kind of like Cole, I guess, you could say. So, I'm just going to give you, it kind of looks like a video character, not going to lie. And nice back, actually. It kind of looks like an elemental power, but he's obviously not. He's in a video game. I really like this hat um, hoodie mold. Really neat. Here's the back. It just looks really good. So, here's the front face, and you kind of got a face with a mask on, so, you know, I guess the robots can't detect him or whatever. He looks really nice. I don't know why he's blue, though. Okay, so our next character is Avatar Cole. So, Cole, Avatar Cole looks really nice. He kind of looks like his lumberjack form in... Uh, Tournament of Elements, I think it is. He has two pickaxes. Really cool. And nice torso print. As you can see, kind of just looks like a lumberjack. No leg printing or anything. Kind of just some black, little simple black pin, back printing. His face is mad in the back and in the front. He kind of just looks happy, you know, just chilling. Big eyebrows, which I like because that's cool for you. I mean, I think it looks really good. I like the hair piece too. It really fits him. Let's get on to the next character. Next character is Avatar Nia. 
So she has a really good hair piece. I really like it. Kind of just looks like a diver in my opinion. Not, nothing too big, you know, zipper in the back. Other face mold, kind of just happy. And her first face mold is her kind of just, I would guess mad. She has a nice little gun or bazooka thingy. But that's it for this character. Next character. So this next character is probably my favorite character. And this would be Avatar Pink Zane. Very cool character. It would look like it would be in the first season. Not Nothing too detailed. I mean, even the back printing is not too detailed. It literally looks like some original thing. So I really like it other than this bad you know, Lego Ninjago face. But you can replace it with the old one. Nice straps on the back. Other than the face, this character is completely amazing. This is the Lego minifigure that every Lego Ninjago fan has been wanting for. In my opinion, I've been probably wanting this for a very... Since, I mean, I see, I saw the pink ninja. So, yep. Let's move on to the next character. So this next character is a pretty iconic character in the Prime Empire. Is, is, a, Okino is his name. Um, I think he's some quest guider or whatever. I don't remember. Really nice, um, but machete though. I like his bag too. Really nice. You can see his back printing pretty good. He has kind of an angry face. Really like this hair though. It looks pretty neat. And then you have an angry face in the back. Okay. Okay. It looks like he's maybe yelling or talking and then he just looks mad. So no leg printing kind of disappointing. But let's move on to our last three characters. So this character is, I think it's Avatar Haru Harumi. Or Harami, I don't know. Looks really cool. Has a normal sword, pretty neat. Finally, some leg printing. Not very good leg printing, just some simple right leg printing. As you can see, you can have her with war paint. I guess she looks like a prisoner. Oh. Take the hair off, and as you can see, some nice detail there. Kind of just looks like blue, kind of looks like a bot in my opinion, but you know. So then you got the back, just really simple angry face kind of a sad face or solemn so that let's move on to our next characters okay so the next character we have is richie or ricky richie whatever he has all his lives really cool you can see up there um he has his two swords has a little i guess dagger double-sided dagger really neat two swords in the back obviously really cool rat face uh, I'll move his arm so you can I'll just move that so you can see his torso kind of just looks like a rat thing looks really neat I really like the leg printing with it I'm going to remove the back now so we can see what is the back stuff so here we have the back it looks like he might have like an extra heart or something I have no idea looks really cool kind of looks like he's a mutant which makes sense because he's probably supposed to be a rat but yeah that's the character. Let's move on to our last character. Okay. So this is the last character. This is a red visor. So one of the guards, only one of them, kind of disappointing. But, you know, nine characters in this whole set, pretty good. He comes with kind of a paintball gun. Well, one of the guns that they shoot. As you can see, full lives. Very nice, very nice. Hasn't got killed yet. So it has number 404 on it. Really like this printing. I'm gonna remove the helmet and the back so you guys can see that stuff. Okay, so this is what the back looks like and the other, the reverse face printing. Really nice. I honestly like the other face printing better, but still really clean. Looks kind of weird. It looks like a ghostish thing. But yeah, that's about it for the characters. Now let's move on to overall thoughts. So this is the box art. It looks really nice as you can see all the characters lined up here's the top here's the back here's the side here's the other side if it was to rate this set out of 100 i would definitely give it a solid 80 out of 100 thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next video bye bye